say the Nigeria way, Yahadu. I thank God for this organization. But let me greet the officials. We are in Kedisa after our doorway. And I want to say in this public manner that this organization is blessed to have very giddings as it is. I do him for no long time. And because I know the sacrifice that you make to carry this through. So I thank you and I'm proud of you. And I say continue. Don't stop at Aphrodite. Go to high school, Amen. go to college, Amen. go to graduate Amen. school. Because the person who started you on this journey, who gave you this opportunity, he says when he starts something, he's able to complete it. Amen. So be encouraged Amen. and continue on the journey. I am especially pleased because I see so many women. I'm an advocate for women. I'm a, not that I don't like men now. I'm not saying that. But I am saying women have something very special. Yeah. Women yeah. are the child barriers. Yeah. Women are the nurturers. Yes. Women are the caregivers. Yes. And if a nation wants to succeed, if a family wants to succeed, if a community wants to succeed, the secret is send the women to school. Because when a woman goes to school, she will make sure her children go to school. She will make sure how to care for her children. She will know how to read a medicine bottle when it's time to give her children medicine. She will know how to take the temperature to know whether the child has a fever. She will be able to, to do well with her small business. So when you want to build a nation and call on our country afresh, you want to build a nation, the United Nations has proven it over and over. Send your girls, send your women to school. And that's what this program is all about. Education, providing adult literacy. Now, there are two important things about adult literacy, about adult literacy program. The first thing it does that, it promotes personal development. In other words, the person who decides, the woman who decides, I want to go to school. In other words, you are saying, I don't care what people say. Me, I'm going to school. They like it, oh. they understand it, oh. they laugh, oh. but I know to better myself, I have to go to school. The second thing is that the person realizes the advantages that there are good things about getting an education. That when you get an education, it can make a difference. In fact, the, the person is actually saying literacy matters. So no matter how old I am, no matter how many years I've been out of school, I know that to improve myself, I have to go back to school. Another thing that motivates personal development is that you don't want to be cheated anymore. You want somebody to read something and you're not sure if they're reading the correct thing. You want somebody to tell you they what the paper say. And you say for you, the person say, oh, you can't read. Huh? You want somebody to go to the bank to get you money. You want to know your business? My money, why my somebody sending me? I want everybody to know. I want to get you so far going with me. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I want to be able to handle my personal effects. I want to be able to sign my knee. I can't put it in on my finger. So those are some of the things that motivate personal development. And also, I want my children to be proud of me. Why say most of the lesson I want to be able to read that book too? They say, no, you're feeling out who work. And if you tell you my thing, you say, mm. We're not who write to me. I want to be able to participate in the education of my child. So when a person realizes that, that means the personal development is important. So I joined the literacy program, right? Yes. Another important part of the literacy program is that it, it, it enables economic empowerment and it enables social change. 
That is, it will make a difference in our community. It will make a difference in our country. For example, if I am educated my co and, and I'm able to vote, I will be able to pick a good leader for my community. I will be able to look at the, 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 the platform of the candidate and say, no, no women education here on the platform. So I'm voting for him. Hmm? Because he put women education, all the things he talking about, do this, I will do that. And he doesn't say anything about us women education and policy. I'm not voting for him. But if I can't read and I can't realize that everybody say, oh man, vote for the man, man, the man, all right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, when I have a sense of education and a sense of literacy, I can better my community by the political choices I make when I vote. Also, when my, I can make social changes in that if I can do better with my market, hmm? mm -hmm. I can pay my taxes, yes? I can be able to build my house. I can contribute to the well-being of my community. So when we get education, it's a two-way thing. You are improving the life of the individual, and you are also improving the life of the community. But to tell you the truth, the truth be told is not easy. Because many literacy programs, the biggest problem is retention. You know that big word, you know what I mean? For the people to stay in the program. Yes. The first day the club will be packed. Amen. Yeah. Hey, okay. When they started the program at our office, I said, Josh, what people were for all these people? They were too plenty. We were for all the chairs. By the next week, the number went down. The following week, it went down again. Because it's a hard thing. Because when you decide to come back to school, it means a change in your lifestyle. It may mean that you have to stop selling early. You give up some of, your, some of your profit, right? It may mean that you have to manage your time. Because you can't go home and play, you gotta go home and do your homework. So the sacrifice, is, it is a personal sacrifice. So many people, when they get in the middle of the river, they will say, mm, you want, you want to Best thing, let me defend them. This school flower not for me. I will send my children to school. But those who endure, those who accept the challenge, the reward and the advantages are great. I thank God for my sister that read. I thank God for my sister that did the math. It's, it gives you a sense of independence. You don't have to ask anybody anymore yes. a sense of independence. So it's very important to stay the course, to keep coming to class, even when you discourage, to keep at it, to stay with it. So at the end, you can get the great reward. Amen. Amen. The last thing about adult education that I want to talk about, there are two very important people in the process of, edu of adult education. The first one is the teacher. You see, the teacher has to be more than just a teacher. And teachers, I speak to you from the bottom of my heart because I am a teacher. The teacher has to love what they do. You can't come here for money business. Because truth be told, you can never pay a teacher enough. Because when a teacher teaches, she gives or he gives a part of himself to the student. And money can't pay for that. So you have to have that personal
but it's a loving sacrifice. Amen. Amen. And in this group of people that they learn us, you know you never stop learning. You have to keep on. You have to stay the course. You have to be encouraged. Even if someone laughs at you, it's okay. Let them come back two, three years from now and see who they're laughing at. It takes time. And in that time, the, the, the knowledge is bringing out a new person. The information is bringing out skills that you didn't even know you had. The gifts and the talents that God puts in you, the education brings it out. That you are saying to yourself, oh, that me. But you have to stay the course. You can't be discouraged. And so I really am proud of you. And I'm here to say, keep it up. Keep it up to the students. Keep it up to the teachers. Keep it up to the administration. Because we need adult education to build our country. Amen. We need it. We need adult education so that we can make sound decisions when it comes to electing our officials. Yes. We won't be fooled. One on one, we're not there for. We say, well, that, that number here is not correct. We have one to school and the teacher told me two plus two, that four. And then man telling me we we'll take two plus two and make five. So it can't be correct. Yes. You will be able to determine. You will be able to reason. You will be able to use your skills to build your market. So all the people here today who are moving from one form to another, we say thank you. Amen. We say keep them up. We say we're looking for you in our high school programs. We're looking for some of you to L you. Amen? Yeah.